Okay, so here is a uh, fighting game template made in Clickton Fusion 2.5. This is a super simple uh, template. Uh, you can add more complexity to it if you wanted to. This is only about 40 events. Okay, probably less. Okay, so now I'm gonna lose on purpose. You could adjust the uh, difficulty uh, super easy. You probably center that text there. Uh, center that a little more there. Okay, so let me just show you quickly. I'm just gonna give you a rundown of this um, uh, template, super quick. Okay, I'm gonna bring this stuff down here and probably make that visible at start so you can see what's actually happening. So when you kick, um, that counter goes up. So if that counter is not zero, you can't kick again. So that also creates a, a little block in front of you. So that's the block that actually has the collision. Okay, so when, for example, like, when the uh, frame six is playing, I think it's frame six. Just let me look at the. Ah, um, uh, see his animation there. Choo -choo -choo. Where's his kicking animation? So it's like frame three. Uh, so when that frame is playing, you can create one of these green thingies, which only have like. It repeats like twice or something, so it blinks. But this is hidden, right? You don't actually see that it's invisible at start. So, uh, what is that part here? Uh, when you kick in, so when you click kicking and the frame is like three, then you create one of these in front of his foot, like so. Okay, you can extend it if you wanted to, but this is the uh, distance I cho chose. Okay. Now, if you have a fighter that has longer legs, you could have it all the way out here, or whatever. Uh, this block here, when the animation is over, it just literally just destroys itself. Okay, so it doesn't last very long, so that's why you see it flashing there on the screen. You can see that he does the same thing. Now, the collision is not set actually to the actual character. Uh, I have these two uh, blocks here that follow the uh, the character. Let me just make that visible now, so you can see what's happening. So no, the other one is not showing up. I think it's set to invisible. I said visible stars. So this one is what's going on here. Okay, it's invisible there. So you can see that the actual collisions are just two actual boxes. I mean, you don't have to do this in Click Team Fusion, you could do this in any other game engine, but I mean, you can do it easier in Fusion. Now, a lot of people don't like Fusion because you gotta pay for it, but you can actually download the free version right now, and uh, this project should load on the free version, so that should, shouldn't be a problem. You can see that um, the animations are just props there, the, uh, the actual collisions are just those two boxes, right? Now, when you crouch, the uh, the box doesn't change. You could make it so the uh, box actually changes. So yeah, so you can see the numbers roll in there. So my um, counter needs to be zero in order for me to be able to kick again. So that's why that prevents me from kicking or punching again. You can see that the punch is at a uh, different position, but the animation plays a little faster, so you can, I don't know, like choose to punch faster or kick slower. You can make all kinds of different attacks if you wanted to. And uh, whenever you lose, I'm going to lose on purpose here. That red counter starts. Let me show you how that shake works, okay, before I end this video. And, and you'll get you can go and ahead and download this template. Um, when this counter reaches, I uh, say roughly 250 or something like that. Let me just check. I think it's um, yeah, 250. 
he simply plays um like like the hitting the ground uh, sound effect and the animation changes to shake the screen okay which is right here this is an actual active object it's not a uh, background so that's just the uh, shaking <laughs> animation for when the when the character falls all the way down to the bottom all right so and that's it uh let me just probably explain what else can i explain here i mean it's pretty it's pretty easy it's only like 40 events it's not a whole lot to figure out here uh, except for when you touch this um the text shows up and whenever you your character touches the um enemy wins then then all your control is disabled and whatever pretty simple stuff uh, I don't actually think you need the physics engine for this. Let me just delete that. I don't know why I put that there. You don't actually need that. Or you might. Let me see. <coughs> uh, this character here has two behaviors. Let me see. Bouncing ball and the second behavior is what? Because when he touches this, he changes his um, behavior. Um... Do 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 do. How do you change the behavior things? Oh, movement. Okay. Uh, the second movement is platform as well. Okay. This one here has a pinball movement. <laughs> okay. That's when you touch these things. Uh, you switch the uh, the behavior, so the uh, collision doesn't apply anymore. Okay. So that's that. Uh, you can download this from the link down below. Thanks for watching, guys, and don't forget to um, like and subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Bye now.